Perfect! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Guess what? Another cosplay from Birth of Prey movie and then again together with Celeste. Hi hi! So you might remember from my uh, last Birth of Prey cosplay tutorial I did it alongside with Celeste and we did the full costume on her channel including accessories and then we did the wig and the makeup on my channel along with a behind the scenes vlog. So this time we're going to tackle another costume and we're going to tackle a golden suit. And you might notice that I'm not wearing a wig right now, but there will be pictures and video footage with the wig and accessories on so you can see how the full look is. But this is a jumpsuit that we're going to make and um, yeah, so keep on watching so you can see how to make that. For this project we're using a pants pattern as the base. Before anything else make sure to iron out your pattern so it lays flat when pinning it to your fabric. When you're done ironing, go ahead and lay out your pattern on your fabric. For materials, you'll need a gold diamond pattern fabric. We actually have this one. It is an upholstery fabric and you can see the bright gold and a matte gold. This will stand out great in pictures and in different lighting. Then go ahead and pin down your pants pattern to your fabric. Feel free to make use of any household object to become a pattern weight. Now, after done pinning, go ahead and cut it out. Make sure to follow any pattern markings, so if you have darts, make sure to include that on your fabric. If your fabric frays a lot, make sure to serge the edges or use pinking shears. Once you have serged all the edges, go ahead and assemble your pants together. After sewing down all your pants, go ahead and iron it. This is going to give it a very nice, clean, professional look. Here are the two pant legs. Now we just need to sew them together to form the pants. We have a sewing machine. Now we're going to cut about six inches of a long band, the same size of our waist measurement for the waistband. Now go ahead and fold it over and sew the edges together. Using some of the remnant fabric, I'm going to cut out some small strips to become belt loops. You only need two belt loops for the front and then two for the back, so a total of four. I'm cutting about two inch strips and then I'm going to top stitch them down. Make sure your pants seam is open in the front side. Sew down your belt and then sew the belt loops on top. Here is how to make the belt loops. Sew the tube together at the top and down the side. Leave one side open and flip it inside out. Then top stitch it so it lays flat. Do this to all four pieces. Don't forget to hem the bottom of your pants. So for the top, we drafted out on a piece of paper holding it up to the body. We wanted it to be loose fitting so that way it would look baggy just like Margot Robbie's. The shape that you're going for is kind of like a trapezoid. Make sure to add darts so that it fits your body correctly. For the back, it's going to be an exaggerated trapezoid. It's going to be very long, but it's going to be shorter and thinner than the front. I already have the front cut out. Now I'm going to reuse the front pattern to make the pocket. You can do this by drafting out the pocket until you're happy. We drew a shield shape in the middle. Make sure to draw this on the fold so that it's symmetrical on both sides. When you're happy with it, go ahead and cut it out. Make sure to leave a little bit of seam allowance. Serge all your front and back pieces and then go ahead and hem the side of the back piece. Find the center of it and then pin it to the center back of your pants. Sew down the back piece to your pants. Before sewing your pocket down to the front, make sure to hem all sides. Find the center fold of your front piece and your pocket. Then lay the pocket on top of the front piece in the center. Pin it down. Sew down the left, right, and bottom pieces of the pocket to the front piece. This way, it'll become an actual functioning pocket in your cosplay. Cut down the center fold of your front piece and then sew it onto your pants, matching the left and right sides. Closing the pants, we are using a white tape silver metal zipper. We are going to pin it in place first with right sides facing each other. Sew the zipper down using a zipper foot. This will be really helpful to have, and if you don't, take it easy or hand sew it in. Do this for both sides. 
To finish off the zipper, we're going to top stitch around it using white thread. This is going to give it a little bit more pop and make sure that the zipper does not get caught on any of the fabric. For the straps, we cut two long strips of fabric about four inches wide. Go ahead and sew the sides together lengthways. This is going to create one long tube. Make sure to close off one side of the tube, this way it's easy to turn inside out. Turn both tubes right side out and then top stitch it down. This was the same process that we used for the belt loops. To attach the straps, we are going to crisscross the straps in the back. So place them at an angle close to the edge and pin them in place. When you're happy with how your straps are placed, go ahead and top stitch them down. Instead of overall hooks and buttons, we are going to be using these suspender clips. Try on your overalls and make sure your straps fall where you want it to be. Now sew on your clips. Anyways, it was a good effort and Celeste have been such a help and uh, thank you so much for being here and to help me out with this. Um, so yeah, I really hope you like it and you will stay tuned for the next video. So thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to both me and Celeste. All links in the description below and in the cards around here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy cosplay!